Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to time your macro. So it's a cool feature that looks sort of, maybe it looks difficult, but it's really easy. So you could time any, any of your macros. I created a simple macro here and all it does is put the number one into the, a cell and it does that down column A and it does that until X is equal to 2000 so it'll go down from cell A1 to A2000 or 20,000 I'm sorry and it'll put the value 1 in it and I want to time it so how do I do that you declare a variable called start time and as long and then a variable end time as long and X time as long so what you're doing is this start time equals timer that gives you the current time okay so you have the current time here then you're gonna do stuff I'm gonna do stuff right here this is my macro and at the end of my macro I get the time again and this is my end time so here's the current time that I started the time I started here's the time I stopped and then to find out how long it took to do the macro you just say X time is equal to end time minus start time that's it it's very simple and then I want to display that in a message box. So I put this macro took and format. The format, you need the format here. So you could do the number of decimals. And it took X time divided by 60. That'll give me number of minutes. And X time will give me seconds. So let's run it and see what it does. Okay, so I hit get time. And it just finished and right here you could see it says this macro took 0.22 minutes or 13 seconds so if you divide 13 by 60 you'll get 0.22 okay so I'll say okay now you saw that took 0.22 minutes or 13 seconds what you can do is turn off this application screen application dot screen updating and it'll make it'll make your macros faster so put this application dot screen updating equals false and and then you run your macro and then you turn the screen updating back to true so what this is doing is when by default uh, VBA allows you to see the changes on the screen as your macro is running but that takes um, a lot of computation a lot a lot of uh, time to do that to change the screen and if you turn that off, it'll make your macros a lot faster. So let's run this again and see what time we get. Remember, the first time we ran it with screen updating equal true, uh, the default setting, we got 0.22 minutes. And now we're going to run it. And you can see it's already done. And here, the macro took 0.02 minutes or one second. So something that used to take 13 seconds, once you turn screen screen updating equal to false you get uh, one second so you gain tw 12 seconds now most macros are not going to be as short as this so you're going to see some uh, major time savings if you uh, turn this off here you have to remember though um, once you turn it off here you always have to turn it back on here okay so this is a pretty cool uh, technique to allow your users to see how long these macros are taking, which is a cool thing. Um, and also another technique is to uh, use a screen update equals a false, so it'll make your macros faster. So that's this, um, that's this lesson. If you have any questions, let me know. Please rate and comment. Thanks.